Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from Selhurst Park in South London. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace up against Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, thanks Derek as always. Pleasure to be here. I have to say the atmosphere is fantastic in here. And I'm anticipating a really good game today. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. And Lee, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, he's got amazing finishing ability. And when a player's got that, it means you have to go that extra yard tighter. And when you do that, you leave space behind you. So it puts the defender in two minds. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. Two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And the contest begins. Couldn't keep it. Marcel serve. Promising move from Tottenham. Son with the pass, but not what he had in mind. Kuyate. And a goal kick given. And they could really get at the opposition. Can they convert? Son. Now Harry Kane. Good looking ball. It looks promising. Well, possibilities in the centre. Kane. He just needs to remain icy cool. Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And good pressure high up the pitch. Deli Alley. Well, the crowd sense a bit of good fortune. No kidding. Players have to be brave now. Got to use that energy. Don't waste it. Son. Pabier. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Son. Now Harry Kane. Given away by Tottenham. Jairo Riedewald. Milivojevic. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. Deli Alley. And Hoybier with it. 
Lo Celso. Deli Alley now. And a good looking pass. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Still passing it around with authority. Lo Celso. Well, mopping up defensively. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Kuyate. Read it superbly to take back possession. Son. Now Harry Kane. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Oh, he's given the ball away. Aurier. Lo Celso. Big chance. And a goal. That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, sometimes being at the right place at the right time gets you a goal. On this occasion, it's a simple goal from his point of view. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, I think the coach can feel the game slipping away here. He's showing his frustration on the sidelines. One nil then. Goal for Tottenham Hospital. Number twenty. Gary Allen. Luka Milivojevic. Sounds in. It's with Milivojevic, and they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Orie. This is Gareth Bale. Deli Alley. Now Son. Harry Kane. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, he's lost it. Zaha. Fantastic defending from Serge Aurier. Well, they've jumped in front, Lee. That's the most important thing. Your assessment so far? Well, it's been a decent half for Tottenham. The coach still has some work to do at half-time. Ball retention has to improve a little bit in the second half if they're going to dominate. Possession could be key. And the ball's gone. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. <laughs> Deli Alley. Now Harry Kane. Bale. Aurier. Deli Alley now. Son. And a fine tackle. Joel Ward. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Oh no. Do they mean business on this occasion? Patrick Van Aanholt. Milivojevic. And Riedewald has it. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. The first half here comes to an end. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, you're right, he has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half.
Well, advantage Tottenham after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from being decided. Deli Alley. Now Son. Deli Alley. And they've won possession again. Zaha and Anholt. Good idea that particular move, but not to be. Roselso. Kane. Fabier. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Players waiting in the centre. Oh, showing good patience. Kane. Deli Alley. And a goal it is for Tottenham Hotspur. Well on course for victory here. Well, as we see again here, this really is patient, accurate, incisive passing at its best. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. It's going their way, 2-0. Tottenham Hotspur goal, number nine, Gareth Bale. And unable to keep possession. Tottenham totally controlling possession. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Fabier. And the pass has been made towards the always dangerous Harry Kane. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Bale. Untidy in possession. Kuyate. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Ndombele Harry Kane This is Gareth Bale Couldn't hang on to the ball Ezi It's with Milivojevic And moving the ball nicely how can he take them on and beat them? Doing the stifling, Toby Alderman. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. for Tottenham Hotspur, coming off the pitch, number nine, Gareth Bale, coming onto the pitch, number 11, Eric Lamella. Over it comes, James MacArthur, Zaha, and Van Anholt. And teammates to play it to. Patrick Van Aanholt. And Aanholt played into the centre. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. 
Counter-attacking, very much an option. Reguilon. Kane. Ndombele. Here's Kane. Harry Kane. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. Well, it was close, but he just went a little bit too early. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. And he's through here. Ball's gone. It has to be, surely. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions. And never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Harry Kane. James MacArthur. It's with Milivojevic. Look at Milivojevic. On the ball, Andros Townsend. Joel Ward. It's with Milivojevic. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Lamela. Lo Celso. Eric Dyer. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Couldn't hang on to it. And on the second half here, and it's almost, Lee, a case of whatever they've touched has turned to goals. Well, let me tell you this. Creating and scoring goals is the hardest thing to do on a football pitch. Tottenham have ticked all the boxes for me in that department. Lovely to watch. And look, the players have all got smiles on their faces. We love to see that. Now, what can they do from here? An attack full of promise. And now Zaha, and pulled back, and the block from Alderweireld, denied again. Can he finish? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Lamela. We have entered the final minutes of normal time. Joel Ward. And that brings this match to an end. A day of frustration for Crystal Palace, all things considered. Three points dropped, Lee. Sometimes you get days when things just don't go to plan. Well, this lot went to the next level. They didn't even have a plan. Not a great effort at all. They should be embarrassed. As we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him.